from MCI 1988. Creatine for women. I've heard conflicting opinions on it being beneficial to men, but increasing the wrong hormones in women. Would be curious to hear a breakdown of it. So I actually DM'd this person and asked um, for the sources, but I didn't get an answer yet. Uh, she was going to look into it. So, hey, um, I will actually follow up with her. But a couple things here. Actually, I am currently writing an article about creatine, which will be out probably like the week before this uh, launches already. But I'm actually looking into stuff and I've never... So creatine is the most researched uh, supplement out there like by far there's like thousands of studies a lot of data a lot of people a lot of different um what's it called uh, types of people men women people who exercise obese etc there's so much research on it and it is 100 percent safe it's it literally like, it's so like the number one research supplement it's number one yeah and it's more and more bent like they're literally like doing so much research or looking into it and it's kind of like it's almost like too good so we're trying to figure out if there's something that might not be good about yeah, soon it enough it's going to be banned <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's it's very beneficial so a real quick recap like helping you build muscle get a little bit more of your training uh, but now they're finding more and more cognitive and like brain function uh -huh. benefits and um, I was actually <clears throat> listening to a podcast this morning, which was a creatine deep dive by Barbell Shrugged. So you might want to check that one out too. They really dive into all the research, basically. Um, and they talk to a researcher who also says like, and he mentioned this because they are talking about the upper limit if there is one, you know. Um, and he said like there was actually a study or maybe multiple studies on perimenopausal women that were put on nine grams, I believe, for two years straight. And there was no downsides. And that's nine grams. So that's more than the general recommendations. Oh, yeah. And it actually seemed to be beneficial for bone health. So there's a lot of new stuff coming out. And they're still doing a lot of research. So we, we don't know yet. But the way it looks right now is that most people can take three to five grams and be a thousand percent fine with that. Personally, and I might be wrong here, but personally, I've never heard of creatine increasing the wrong hormones in women. I haven't heard that either. It's, let me think if there's any, no, I, I was like trying to like come up with something, but like, I actually, I can't imagine how that would be the case. I'm not saying that it's wrong, like definitely not. And hey. Let's be honest, there is a lot of misinformation out there too, a lot of conflicting data. Uh, but what we do know is that creatine does seem to be stay safe, long story short. And what I will also say is that if you have any questions about any supplement or you know uh, micronutrients or compounds, whatever, go to examine.com, type in creatine, and you'll literally get the most detailed breakdown you'll ever be able to find you know, mm -hmm. in plain English, which is really cool. So it seems to be fine, or seems to be fine. Oh, yeah. It's great. Go ahead, take it. 